Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to The Long Dark. My goal today is to get back to our garage, drop off all this stuff I picked up from this house, and start making our way toward the other map. Now, I am carrying a little too much stuff right now. Ooh, are these berries? <gasps> what? Oh, that's awesome! Now I'm carrying even more stuff! And that, those can't have weighed too much. That's probably all right. Okay. I don't really remember where we are. Oh, we're on the island. That's right. Okay, there are wolves around here. I do not want to encounter them if I can help it. What's the temperature? Negative seven? That's not too terrible. Okay. Uh, another beautiful day of snowing. Let's see, we already checked this corp, right? Yeah. Corp, corp, corpse. Oh, there's a deer. Now, Tipsy Fish told me that it's not actually a good idea to try and use the gun to shoot bears and wolves that are coming after you because apparently your character will panic and not be able to aim very well, and if you're tired at all, you will have a terrible time aiming as well. So I am going to save my gun, I guess, for shooting deer. But I'm not going to shoot that one, just because I have a very full inventory, and I don't want to use a bullet on something that I'm not going to be harvesting. It feels like something is following me. Do you guys hear that? Is that just supposed to be the sound of the snow hitting the ice? That's a, a tad unrealistic, if that's the case. I suppose if you're listening very, very carefully, you can hear snow hitting the surface, but not like that. Alright, and Luke has pointed out to me that I am... Not very observant whatsoever. I am sorry, Luke, for being a disappointment. I will try to be better at paying attention to things. And one of those things is I'm supposed to see a way to capture rabbits in my interface. Which I will look at that later, but right now I'm just concerned with getting back to our garage before we get tired, because the more tired we get, the less well we're going to be doing carrying all of this stuff. Oh boy, it's starting to get windy. Apparently I've gotten pretty lucky with my weather in this game, according to Tipsy Fish, who says he's had a lot more blizzards and unexpected weather conditions than I have. Now, I don't know, were you on a different map, or was that on this map? Because I would think that potentially different maps had different chances of having bad weather. But I hope that my luck streak keeps up. Oh, also, Tipsy, what difficulty level were you playing on? Because I'm playing on... Uh, normal, I believe. Not the easiest one, but the second to easiest one, because I'm a new player. So, I didn't want to be in over my head my first time playing through. So, that, that could potentially have a lot to do with it, if you are playing on, like, Interloper or whatever. I hear wolves. I hope they leave me alone for now. Oh, sure, I'm getting cold. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're almost to our garage. Don't you worry. Oh, I can't tell if that's a wolf or just the creak. Ah! Oh, it's like, is it the creaking of a house or is it a wolf howling? I don't even know. Okay, we're sprinting now because I don't want to deal with a wolf when we're carrying this much stuff. Ah, I hear one for sure. I think. I mean, <laughs> I'm never really for sure. P 
Phew, we made it, guys. Even with carrying too much weight. Alright, so I'm gonna take care of all of this stuff. And only keep on us the things that we really need. Alright, so my goal is to head on over to that other map that we found a couple of episodes ago. And before we do that, I'm going to repair up all of the clothes that we are wearing, and then also these trail boots, because they seem like pretty good boots for going some long distances. And I don't... I don't know how much stuff I want to carry. I think... I'm gonna leave behind the lanterns and the lantern fuels and, um, you know, just take the bare minimum that I need to get by for potentially two days, because, you know, there's a possibility considering how sparse it looked the little bit that I was over there that we might have to spend a night in a car. But I do want to have enough food and water for the traveling. Alright, so I will go ahead and repair our clothes and report back to you. So this is cool, guys. You see how these are worn wool mittens and they've got, like, stitches on them and everything? If you repair them enough, the image actually changes. That's so cool. I love that amount of detail. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really make that much sense because if you're repairing them, they're probably going to have even more stitches on them than they did before. But I like it for the purpose of the game UI. Yeah, see, he did that with our thermal underwear as well. So as you've probably noticed by now, it sounds rather nasty outside, and that may mean we're not going anywhere else for the rest of this day. But let us eat this chocolate bar, because I heard our stomach growling there for a minute. Alright, so, with the weather being super shitty... Okay, I kind of want to peek just to see how bad it is. I may regret this, but this is totally what I do in real life. I think there's a tornado coming, and I stick my head out the window. Yeah, okay. That's pretty windy. Although, it says it's zero degrees. That's not so bad. I mean, we walk slower in the wind, I guess. Alright, well, I'm not gonna be dumb and go out on that, because even if it's not that cold right now, it could easily drop with how windy it is. Alright. Well, we will just make sure we have exactly what we need to start traveling tomorrow. Now, everything I feel is repaired to a pretty good amount. I'd like to repair these trail boots a little more, but I used all the leather that we have. Maybe the expedition parka. And with everything repaired, I'm going to leave all of our cloth behind. Because that seems to take up a fair amount of weight in our bag. I could potentially leave behind the can opener too. Since its only purpose is opening cans, but then I would have to use the hatchet, and I don't want it to... What does it take to repair this? Oh, we need a whetstone to sharpen it. What did, I, what did I do with the whetstone? Did I leave it in this locker? I know I still have one. Yeah, there it is. But I also know that your whetstone will eventually go away, but maybe we're gonna do that. We'll sharpen this all the way up. That way we can leave the can opener behind. Oh gosh, that only sharpens 4% though. How much does it take off of the whetstone? 5%. So we sacrifice 5% whetstone durability for 4% hatchet durability. Ugh. Gosh, I don't know what's more important. 
having a whetstone or a can opener. Um. Uh. Oh wait, no, 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 not harvest. Oh god, that was gonna be bad. That was gonna be so bad. Well, hopefully we'll find another whetstone on the other map. How much does it, durability does it take from our hatchet? Do we know? No. Can't tell. Alright guys, here we go. This is what we're going to venture out with. I have everything sorted by weight here. So this time I'm only carrying two liters of water with us. And we have our mountaineering rope. Uh oh. What I oh I'm not carrying the rifle because I dropped it off for a second. Alright, we are gonna want the rifle just because we're running kinda low on food. Unless I wanna eat dog food, which is probably fine, but I just don't like the idea of making my character do that if I don't have to. Alright, so we got the tools that I'm really thinking we'll need. Hatchet, hunting knife, rifle. I dropped the work boots just for now since these are better for long distance traveling and if I really need to come back for the other boots I will, but they weigh two and a half kilograms, so that is quite a lot. And I'm bringing our MRE bar and I may not even need like the crackers and the sardines, especially since they will make us more thirsty. But the condensed milk, milk I like because it quenches our thirst and gives us a lot of calories. So, yeah. Only taking the necessary clothes that I'm actually wearing. I'm almost even tempted to leave the parka behind. But I don't know what the weather's going to be like for the most part on that other map. I'm bringing wood matches and a few tinder plugs just because we may have to start a fire to keep warm um yeah so there we have it these guys i don't know quite what they're used for and i can't seem to look at my medical thing without needing it but okay let's see if i can figure out how to capture rabbits, like Luke was suggesting. Crafting tinder plugs? Oh, I didn't know we could craft tinder plugs. Okay. Well, in that case, maybe I don't need to bring the tinder clubs with us. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we need the tinder plugs, not the tinder clubs. Don't know why I called them that. So, I don't see anything yet. Oh, I did not know there were notes. <laughs> That's cool, though. Oh, and we can write? What? That's awesome! I mean, I usually just use, like, a Google Docs or something if I want to write something down, but hey, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna double check on what it is that I can make on this workbench if there's anything I have discovered that uh, ah, here we go. This must be what he's talking about. Cured gut, reclaimed wood to make a snare. And making lines for fishing. Rabbit skin mitts. Well, obviously we don't have any rabbits. Okay. Oh, bedroll. That's a good idea. Yeah. I guess I should grab our bedroll, huh? Damn it, that's another thing to carry, though. Our guts are not cured yet, so we can't do anything with that. Um. Ugh. Nope. Don't want those. Where did I put our bedroll? Ah, uh, there. Okay. One kilogram? Damn it. Maybe I'm just carrying too much. I don't know. Let's trade out these mittens. I'm gonna wear the wool ones. Well, I'm not really sure what else to leave behind. But that's what we have. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, two hours of daylight left. All right. Well, I guess this is going to be a short episode. Sorry about that, guys. But nothing you can do when the weather sneaks up on you like that. But we are ready to venture onto the other map tomorrow. And I 
am looking forward to what awaits us on the other side. And maybe I'm speaking too soon on that, but fingers crossed that it will be good because I am running out of food. Alright guys, thanks a lot for joining me, and until next time, stay foxy everyone.